Hey people, it is Monday, October the 4th, and it is 1.20 in the afternoon, and the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. And I'm here on McIntyre Street East in North Bay in the East End. And the house I'm looking at here is actually my former residence. I used to live in this place for 14 years, from 1996 all the way up until 2010. And this was the last place I lived before I moved away and left North Bay for Toronto. And I lived up at, up at the very top. That window in the top, up there is a bachelor apartment in the attic. And that was where I spent many years. And I rather liked that apartment, actually. It's not a bad place. And I actually do have an old video on my other channel called Ken Continues where I have a tour of that apartment and also a, uh, a visit with my cat. <laughs> I had a cat back then named George. So I believe that old video is called Ken's Living Room and George the Cat. So here's John Street. So I thought I would walk from this old apartment, former apartment, to another old place where I used to live. And I just wanted to point this out. This was a popular pub when I lived in this area called the Bull and Quench, but now it's the Station Tap House. And it got a bit of a renovation. It actually looks a little nicer now than it used to. So this is the East End. This is considered the more sketchy side of downtown. In another video I walked through the Old West End, which is the, the nice side. So we'll just walk along McIntyre Street East here, heading into the heart of downtown. We're sort of on the outskirts of downtown here. And I'll make my way over to a former apartment, or maybe even two. I might be able to swing by two former places. One I lived with with a girlfriend when I first moved out away from home, away from living with my family. I moved into an apartment with my girlfriend at the time. So maybe we'll go take a look at that. And also another place where I lived as a child and a teenager. And I have a lot of memories of that place. So I lived there for quite a long time growing up. Hopefully I have enough space on my uh, memory card to film a video long enough to make it there. I think I have about 40 minutes of time left on this memory card. I think that should be enough. The houses here are pretty old and not terribly well maintained. Some of them are a bit on the rundown side. And most of these houses are divided up into apartments here in the East End. 
such as the one I used to live in. There were four apartments in that one. Here's a well-used recliner, up for grabs. <laughs> and this corner lot here was once the site of a notorious old motel called the Sands Motel. Let's look up Fisher Street. Once upon a time, the Sands Hotel was a respectable place, but then over the years it got sketchier and sketchier and fell into disrepair, then became a downright eyesore for years, sitting here derelict and full of squatters and other unple unpleasant business. And finally, just within the last year or so, they tore it down. But I remember when I was a kid, it was still a functioning downtown motel and it was well thought of at the time. It's amazing how things change. Alright, so we're coming into the heart of downtown here on McIntyre Street. Oh, there's one of those little things that I see in Toronto. I didn't know they had them in North Bay too, where you suck up the litter on the ground with that big tube. Well, it looks like this is all boarded up now. This was a a pastry shop, I think. I was here for decades when I was growing up. And there's the North Bay Public Library and North Bay City Hall. Sometimes people make fun of this building for saying it looks like a toilet. Mainly because of the council chamber here, which is behind, hiding behind these trees. It kind of looks like the seat of the toilet. And then behind it is the water tank, <laughs> which is the, the building itself. People like to... Uh, Imagine buildings as looking like unusual things, such as the Robarts Library in Toronto. People say that looks like a big turkey. So what's worse, looking like a big turkey or looking like a toilet?
And here's the Capitol Center. This is the back of it facing onto McIntyre Street here. It's a performing arts venue. And it's actually a very nice, well-maintained historic building. A former movie theater. In my Main Street video, I show the front of the building facing onto Main Street. Man, this is pretty cool. How many faces can you recognize here? Say quite a few of them. I'm not going to name them all off right now, but I'm definitely recognizing almost all of these faces, or at least the vast majority of them. A little bit of Canadian music history. Grandma's Kitchen. <laughs> that was a, a deli of a different name back when I lived here. There's the Thompson Building. And this is Ferguson Street. It looks like they tore down some old buildings that were here last time I was in town a few years ago. They're all boarded up. And now it's a parking lot, of course. And it will probably remain a parking lot for the next 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 years. <laughs> but hey, we have a better view of the Golden Age Senior Citizens uh, apartment building. which is the tallest building in downtown North Bay, right there. It is taller than City Hall. And this is actually a fairly decent little stretch of density here on this short section of McIntyre Street. This older building in the middle was once the Empire Hotel, which was sort of like the largest, most prestigious hotel in the city back in the 1920s or 30s when it was first constructed. And it's now a retirement home, Empire Living Center. Fraser Street. Oh, here's, uh, let's check out this aerial view of the city here. Oh, 
I wish it was more high resolution, but still a pretty cool view. All right, so now we're gonna veer away from downtown. along Fraser Street here and we'll start heading towards my other apartment that I lived in the one with my girlfriend at the time There's Twig's Coffee Roasters. It's a popular coffee hangout. I think it was like the first gourmet coffee restaurant in the city. It opened up with a different name back in the 90s from what I can remember. Here's Worthington Street. And over here is a large office building. It's a government office building that incorporated the old North Bay Normal School, which is that domed historic building, which was a teacher's college. There are a number of these old normal schools built in a few cities around Ontario, and they all kind of look similar. This is First Avenue. And there's the Masonic Temple across the street, that kind of stone looking gray building. Pick up the pace here. I think I only have about 21 minutes left on this memory card. I should be able to make it. There's Dave's Green Papaya. And here's the Fraser Tavern. This is a long standing local landmark. The House of Rock and Roll. They do have live music. And it's also just a kind of a hang out for a slightly older crowd than used to go to Wilders. Some people would jokingly call it a cougar bar. I don't know if that's still the case or not. And this is the former CN rail station. North Bay used to have two railway stations downtown, the CP station and the CN station. And the CN rail line used to run right across here. That line has been decommissioned. And I believe this old station is currently some sort of office space for some sort of organization. Mm, 
Some people apparently have taken up residence there in the underground tunnel. So now we're kind of out of the downtown core. Walking along Fraser Street. And there's a number of nice old homes here along this part of Fraser Street. A lot of nice solid old brick houses. North Bay did tend to build with brick in contrast to some other northern Ontario cities and towns which tended to go with the more wood frame or vinyl siding housing styles. And I think brick is always much more attractive and permanent looking. And here's Fifth Avenue. No, not that Fifth Avenue. This is North Bay's Fifth Avenue. And I used to know someone who lived here. And perhaps they still do, at least their family. I'm really a fan of how they have this gravel sort of a space between the street itself and the sidewalk. That's something you definitely don't see in Toronto. Usually streets are built right up to the curb. Kind of more like this. This is a little more proper here. At least they put asphalt. Not just left it gravel. And it's not unusual to find streets fairly close to downtown that don't even have sidewalks. I know you do find that in Toronto, in some of the more suburban neighborhoods or in the more wealthy neighborhoods, which for some reason tend to not have sidewalks. And here's 7th Avenue West. And that car had New York license plates. All right, so we're just about at another one of my old apartments. And it looks like I'll have enough time to make it over to the third one. Just gotta kind of view over here for a bit. 
This is King Street. And you know, I just realized that when I started the video in front of that former apartment of mine, there was another one just a block away that I could have started the video at. Oh well. I'm trying to think, how many places in total did I live in in North Bay, both as a child growing up and then out on my own? I can think of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I lived in eight different places. And three of them were after I left home. So here we are right here. This house with the white porch. I lived up there on the second floor with my girlfriend at the time. That was the first apartment I lived in after I moved out away from home living with my mom. So now we're going to hightail it over to the third one. And up there is what we always called the French church, that large church with the twin towers. There are two large cathedrals. One is the English one and one is the French one. <laughs> I showed the English one in one of my other videos. That one's located right downtown. So here's the other one, the French one because there is a sizable francophone community in North Bay. I think 15% or so of the city is francophone. And this old plaza here used to have a grocery store at this end, where it's now a sort of It's a treatment center. Oh, I think it's a an addiction treatment center. It was a grocery store. It was an A&P when I lived over here in the house I'm heading towards. And then it became a, a byway. And here's Ferguson Street. Just looking back towards downtown. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the area I lived in during my formative years, if you want to call them that. I moved to this neighborhood when I was 12 and lived here right up until I was, I think, 22 years old. I still lived with my mom at that point. So my entire high school years were spent in this neighborhood. And over there is the North Bay Police Headquarters. And here's one of the fire halls. Gaggle of dogs here. <laughs> got, some, got some border collies. My sister would have been happy to see those. And some little yappy ones. And here's Princess Street East. So this is my old street, and just up ahead is my old house. Well, it was an apartment, really. And really funny story. So this is the building. 128 Princess Street East and we lived up on the second floor where that large window is facing that was our living room window and over here that was my sister's bedroom window that smaller window and that was our kitchen window and that's it, apartment three, right there. So that's where we used to live. And there's my mother's bedroom window, the large one. And that's the window at the top of the stairs. So yeah, I lived here from 1982 until 1993. So that's quite a long time. And the funny story I wanted to relay was that now, my cousin lives in this same building, not in the same unit, but in one of the other apartments. And we didn't know that until just recently when my sister paid a visit to North Bay. And she came to look at the old house, just as I'm doing now. And who should come driving up in her car but our cousin, <laughs> our young cousin, who lives in the same place we grew up. So that's, that was kind of a... A what the F moment. <laughs> so that's it. Three of my old homes in North Bay. And it should have been four, but I kind of blanked on showing the first one. But like I said, there have been eight places in total that I lived in here in North Bay. And this is the way I used to go to the corner store that used to be up here. And it's called the Kitty Corner Convenience Store. Let's see what's there now. And then I'll end the video. I'm curious to see if it's still a store. I have a feeling it's not. I have a feeling it's just an apartment now or something.
And that's the building there. I don't think it's a store anymore. Nope, seems to be an apartment now, apartment four. Well, that's too bad. Where do the kids go now for their convenience store goodies? I know there's a chain store over on Fisher Street nearby, but oh well. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the walk. Starting from in front of my old apartment on McIntyre Street East, the last one I lived in North Bay. And then heading along McIntyre Street into downtown. And then onto Fraser Street. And then up to King Street, where you got to look at my first apartment I lived in after I moved out with my girlfriend. And then from there over to the one where I lived the longest, I guess, from 1982 to 1993. As a preteen and a teen and a young adult, so that's quite the stretch of lifetime living in one place. Although technically I did live in the first apartment longer. The first one I showed you, I lived there from 1996 to 2010, but I was an adult the whole time. I lived there, so it doesn't have quite the same nostalgia factor. Anyway, I'm yammering, so leave a comment below if you enjoyed this walk, and like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my merch store and you can also find me on Instagram under K Continuum. so thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always I will continue